mic. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, just, just about um, how close the USA got um, to that total, uh, and it took a couple of great hours from you to pull things back. Um, just the match overall to start with, and, and also just how the USA kind of chased it down and got close in the end. Um, yeah, the USA have been chasing well, and that's the reason why they chose to bowl first. And I uh, must commend our batting lineup, especially Quinton. And um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we got a respectable total on the board, or more than a respectable total on the board, which, which gave us an opportunity to you know, put them under pressure with the ball. Um, yeah, we got a couple of early wickets, and then Andres Host batted extremely well and uh, gave them a good chance, and they came close in the end. Uh, you, you can never write any opposition off, no matter where, no matter where, no, no matter who they're playing for. The USA have been playing well. They beat Pakistan, so hats off, hats off to the way they're playing. Uh, you, as a team, have played on some interesting surfaces already in this World Cup. So, I mean, yes, you are like you know seasoned cricketers. You're used to it. But when wickets are so drastic, like, do you just adjust on the go when like you get a true surface like this? Well, you have to adjust on the go. Uh, we are professional cricketers and we've come across conditions, uh, uh, variable conditions um, throughout our careers. Um, and I guess we should have an idea of, of how to adapt. But if it's your day, then it's your day. And if it's not, then it's not. But you want to win, win more days than, than you lose. Uh, and just about with your bowling, I mean, uh, at, in T20 cricket, you play different roles um, over the years, but now just bowling at the top, bowling at, at the end. Like where, where do you sit with your own T20 bowling? I don't mind where I bowl, wherever the captain needs me. Um, I think I've have enough, enough experience bowling in any phase of the game, and um, I think I have a good idea of how to go about it in any phase. So I'll just try my best whenever I have the ball. Uh, and just finally, from me, just get uh, the two games against Bangladesh and Nepal. I mean, the fact that. Uh, this South African team has gotten over the line in those like kind of nervy, tricky situations, which hasn't uh, has gone against you in the past. Uh, is that a sign of um, things just falling into place and you guys kind of peaking as the tournament progresses? Hopefully. Thank you. Um, KG, one thing it's one thing to have pitches being a bit different, but the the actual conditions of the ground here with the wind with the but the boundaries are the way they are with that crosswind and when you've got left and right handers on it feels like it's a it's kind of a game of chess where you have to have all the pieces in the right places and did you feel that that was kind of the difference between what you guys did and what USA did in the end both with you with bat and ball in, in actually getting your head around all of that faster well I think we 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 did really well in the power play and that's probably set uh, the two sides apart. Um, in the death, I, th I thought they made it very hard for us in the death. We didn't. Uh, I mean, we got really good players in the in the death and um, uh, bad batsmen in the death, and they made it extremely hard for them. Um, so yes, cricket is a game of variables, and you, you have to you have to read the conditions, whether it's the the pitch or the wind, and you no know, left right combina uh, left right uh, com batting combinations and see what the best deliveries are in order to get the percentages in your favour. I was talking to, to Anrik about sort of this yesterday and he was saying that um, he doesn't really have a preconceived plan about, about lengths, for example. It's more about seeing what works probably the first couple of overs. Is that how you operate or have you sort of looked at it and worked out what's working for you beforehand? Well, you've got to realise your own strengths and have an idea of you know, where you're going to play and who you're playing against. And then it's about adapting like whilst you're playing. So it's about juggling all those three, three facets. And just feeling, how, just wondering how you're feeling about South Africa's chances in this group, because I, I, it will come if you get through to the next stage and you know it, the, the thoughts about South Africa and knockout games and everything else. Is that easy for you to just put aside for the moment? There's no point thinking about it. Um, you just take it game by game, and the belief is there. Belief is there. If you don't have the belief, then you, you might as well go pack your bags and go home. And whatever happens after that happens, but the belief is there. Perfect. Thank you. 
just quickly on the 19th over, um, the situation's a little bit different. You know, you guys are the, the Goliaths taking on a, a plucky challenger, as it were, to in the eyes of many people. What was it like for you? What do you go to in terms of your mindset bowling that, that 19th over and, and making sure that you kind of deliver in, in a clutch situation? Sorry. Um, again, it's, it's about managing the wind and um, trying to understand which ball is the hardest for the batsman to hit, basically. And in terms of the planning going into, into a game, like how early are you told, yeah, look, you're, you're bowling the 19th over in our eyes, it's the, the most important of the, of the match? Well, it's just an over, right? Um, everything else is, is, is out of your control. Uh, you have the ball in your hand, or if you have the bat in your hand, then that's what you're controlling. Um, you're not controlling the wind, you're not controlling what the crowd says, or get what I mean. But um, it's about uh, just one ball at a time. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.